Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com, and today I have another spot welder test for you guys. I'm unboxing this time an $80 handheld spot welder. This is a bit cheaper than most of the spot welders I've tested before, so hopefully it fits in more budgets. And right off the bat, I just want to tell you that this spot welder was sent to me for free by an AliExpress vendor, but this is not a paid review. You guys know I don't do those, and so I can say anything I want. If this is good, I'll let you know, but if it is junk, I will also tell you it is junk. All right, let's get to opening this and test it out. Wow, this is simple. All right, so we've got, looks like a USB charging cord. Ooh, USB-C, how fancy. And we have the spot welder. This is tiny, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, I thought this was gonna be bigger based on the pictures. Look how small that is. Also, it's 3D printed. I'm a bit surprised by that. It's weird to see 3D printing used for an actual like retail product. This is normally a prototyping method, but I guess it works. All right, so it didn't come with any instructions in the box here, but uh, from the product page, it said that you basically turn it on and then you push one of the two buttons. All right, screen flashed there. Maybe hold that, hold that. Nothing's happening. A little longer. No, oh, okay, there we go. So we're on 4.32 volts. I don't know what kind of battery is in this, but that would be a bit high for most lithium ion batteries. Uh, pulse is set at five milliseconds. All right, got some nickel strip here. This is 0.15 millimeter. Let's just try folding this in half and doing a little spot weld on itself. Nothing bad happened, that's good. So it looks a little superficial. Let's see if we can pull this apart. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. So that was not a great weld, that just popped right apart. Let's try this again and turn up the power a bit. I guess not really the power, but the duration here. Let's go like 10 milliseconds and see what happens. Second weld, that looks a little little better. It looks like we got a little deeper into the metal there. Let's try and pull that apart. Okay, again, that just popped apart easily by hand, so that's not a good sign right out of the gate. A 10 millisecond pulse is usually about the highest I go on most of my spot welders. Let's go a little higher, maybe 15. Man, I hate that beep. All right, let's try one more time on this piece. All right, got more of a spark that time and a little puff of smoke. Definitely looks like a more powerful weld and the piece is quite a bit warmer. So let's try pulling that apart. All right, now I've got some resistance. All right, now we're talking. All right, so I can't pull that apart by hand. All right, so I was able to get that apart with the tools, but it looks like, yeah, we've actually ripped the nickel apart, as you can see right, right there. So that's good. That's what you want to see, those holes in the nickel when you pull it apart. So 15 milliseconds seem to give us a better weld. Let's try again. Yeah, that is quite warm. Oh man, I am able to pull those apart just fine. Let's try going a little higher than 15. All right, looks like 15 is the highest we can go. Never mind. I'm going to try one more piece of nickel here. See if we can get a better weld. Looks like a nice weld from the outside. But it just pops apart right in my hands. These are not very powerful spot welds. This is absolutely not what I would want on one of my batteries. Speaking of which, let's pull out a battery cell and see if we can get any better welds straight to the battery. Let's see what happens if we weld. Here goes nothing. All right, so that's good. Oh, so I was able to pull that off by hand again. If you look though, I actually ripped holes in the nickel, so that is a good sign, but I'd rather not be able to pull that off by hand from a cell. Let's try putting a few spot welds on there. All right, so here are three spot welds, six points. This is how I would 
typically well to sell if I was building a battery. Alright, so I'm able to slowly work it off with my hand, though this weld is a bit stronger. Alright, so the whole thing came off. I do have some nice nickel residue on the end of the cell there. So that's a good sign. It means that we're actually welding the nickel nicely to the end of the cell. It's not as powerful as I would like, but we're ripping holes in the nickel, which is what I want, and we're actually getting solid metal-to-metal -metal welds. So even though it's not as powerful as some other spot welders I've used, I'm actually not too disappointed here. Let's try doing a few cells together, see what happens. Let's get three new cells here. Try something like this. There's two spot welds on each, so four points. And the welds look good. They feel pretty solid. Let's see what happens when we start to rip these apart. Those are actually pretty strong. All right, there we go. So again, we've got nice nickel artifact there, which is a good sign. Let's look at the holes we ripped here. And yeah, same thing. So we're actually getting holes in that nickel strip. So that's a pretty solid weld. Let's try another one of these. All right, again, looks like pretty solid welds there. Nickel strip is nice and ripped up when we pull it off. So I'm surprised that when I welded nickel to nickel, it wasn't so good. But when I weld the cells, it's actually a pretty solid weld. So let's try this again, doing a little bit of nickel to nickel welding. All right, so the nickel to nickel weldability is not great, but let's take the same piece and weld it to a cell here. Now if we take the nickel and rip it off here, we get decent welds. Holes ripped through the nickel again, and artifact left on the cell. I can definitely feel, and I think you can see there. So I'm going to say that for some reason the nickel to nickel welds aren't great, but the cell to, to nickel welds are pretty good. Now what I'm curious is, if I needed to stack up nickel like I sometimes do, what would happen? So let's try that. So I'll first weld this piece on, and then I'll do another nickel on top. I know I always tell you guys to wear gloves, so I should probably be wearing gloves when I do this. Alright, so got our first weld there, pretty solid. Now let's put another piece of nickel on top, let's see how that goes. All right, so this would be doubling up, like if we wanted more current to flow through here. Uh, I'm not going to do the other side here because I actually want to pry this off and see what the connection feels like. All right, pretty, pretty strong. Let's come in here and look at this. It's a pretty good weld, actually. I mean, again, we've ripped apart the nickel. So on the cell, it's doing better than two bare pieces on the table. All in all, I'd say I'm pretty decently surprised by this little spot welder. I mean, it's small and compact, which is nice, but it still gives me pretty decent welds on these cells, even if the welds aren't as good as some of my more powerful spot welders. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you guys if you were looking for your own cheap spot welder. Last but not least, before I go, it is time to announce the winner of the book giveaway for my last video, and the randomly selected commenter is... Justin T, who it actually looks like already got one of my books. So Justin, uh, you're the real MVP. Uh, if you'd like another one of my books, you can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. Or if you'd like, you can do what some other people who have won in the past but already had purchased one of my books did, which was let me know and tell me to just pass it on to the next person. And in that case, I will choose two people that will be the randomly selected commenters at the end of my next video to win their own free books. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books, make sure you put a comment there because you might get chosen just like Justin did. Or if you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. 
All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.